here he is, Doc Whipple. I was surprised to see Dr. Whipple has a new TV show. Didn't we get rid of this guy last season? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I use the latest techniques of psychology to aid people with their problems. That means he charges people a lot of money to tell them that they're confused. Today, I am pleased to introduce you to my latest <laughs> patient. <laughs> An elephant? Either that or a mouse with a severe eating disorder. Oh, this is Shrimpy the Elephant. Shrimpy, show the people what I've taught you. Hey. Isn't this great? You dragged me here to see a man tell an animal what to do? I'm gonna go find something to eat. As you can see, Shrimpy here has been trained with love and affection. Smile. Or I won't feed you again till August. Hmm, <laughs> nice spread they put out for the crew. <gasps> You missed three steps and forgot to do the Elvis impression. Just for that, no lunch. Hey, not that it's a lot of my business, but uh, where do you put up with this? If I don't, he doesn't feed me. Looks like he's not feeding you now. Here, have half of mine. Oh, thanks. You know, Shrimpy, I have a guy who feeds me, and I don't have to do handstands or live in a cage. On the other hand, Shrimpy doesn't have to put up with Nermal, or those twins, and Aunt Ivy, and Doggy Tongue. He's right. That cat is right. Wasn't that elephant act great? No. <laughs> You moron! How could an elephant get past you? Sorry, Doc. I was on my break and... Call the police! Call everyone! All units, be on the lookout for one elephant. Description, gray. Approximate weight, 7,000 pounds. What do you think all this police activity is about? Maybe they're gonna arrest Dr. Whipple for impersonating a human being. I'm going to go visit Liz. I'll see you back at the house. Bring pizza. People who treat animals like that should be treated, well, the way they treat animals. What is it with all these policemen? Hey! Huh? Huh? Who hid me? <gasps> you made a break for it? I couldn't take any more of it. But it's no use. They'll find me and they'll take me back there. And he'll, he'll be even madder at me. <laughs> hide me. <laughs> you gotta hide me. Hide you? <laughs> You're a little large, don't you think? Couldn't I go on a crash diet? Hmm, there must be a way. <gasps> here's an old flat volleyball, and here's some black paint. Maybe... Huh? Come on, just a little more. Tuck it in. <sighs> You're supposed 
supposed to be a dog, remember? Bark, do dog stuff. Come on, Spot. What kind of dog do you think that was, Henry? It looked to me like part Cocker Spaniel, part uh, Pachyderm. I don't care what it is. I'm just glad I don't have to clean up after it. Al, how many dogs have you caught this month? Well, let's see. Uh, there was that Lhasa Apso. Oh, no, she got away. <laughs> Try none. Al, you haven't caught so much as a chihuahua in months. I'm going to assign you to something a little bigger and easier to find. You think maybe you could find a elephant? Yeah. And I know exactly how to do it. <laughs> I'll sneak you in the back way. No, I don't think this will work. Huh? I'll take you in the front way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sure, like you don't have a couple of fat relatives you have to do this with. I... Where you live? Shh. Huh? I'll try to find you something to eat. Huh? Around here, it's mostly lasagna or dog food. Huh? Cody! I didn't mean dog food like that. Spit my friend Odie out right now. Sorry. Garfield, if you think I'm going to feed your elephant friends, you're sadly mistaken. Three, two, one. Mm. Elephant? It is an elephant. It's Dr. Whipple's elephant. Garfield, he shouldn't be here. I'm going to call Dr. Whipple. <sighs> Don't worry, Shrimpy. We'll find a way. No, I'm going back, I know. There aren't a lot of places for an elephant in this world, except on a stage. <laughs> Hello? May I speak with Dr. Whipple? They're putting me through to his cell phone. Don't worry, elephant. We'll have you home in no time. <sighs> you... you don't want to go home, do you? <laughs> he doesn't treat you very well, does he? This is Dr. Whipple. Who is this? Uh, sorry, wrong number. Uh. Well, we can't keep him here. I already have one pet who eats like an elephant. <laughs> the cat, as usual, has an idea. This is an article about a program that sends animals back to their native habitats. Oh, you think we should give Shrimpy here to the zoo? Well, he'd be happy there, but unfortunately, he does belong to Dr. Whipple. Whoa. Oh. Ah. I did it! I caught the elephant! I caught the elephant! Attention, everyone! I caught the elephant! I may be a lousy dog catcher, but I'm a great elephant catcher! <laughs> Sorry, Garfield. Looks like your friend is going back. There you are! You are in such trouble now, elephant! Don't treat him bad, Doc. Mind your own business. He needs to be punished. Severely! Bad elephant! Bad elephant! 
If you think I disciplined you before, Shrimpy, wait until you see what happens now. Elephants are supposed to have great memories. You won't remember the last time I fed you, and you're going to work three times harder. No, he isn't. What do you mean? He's my elephant, and he's going to do what I say. There are laws against mistreating animals. I think we better take you down to jail and teach them to you. What? No! You can't do this to me! You can't lock me up like some... some dumb animal! I'm sorry for what I did, but I think it'll be all right now. What do you think will happen to him? Oh, he'll probably agree to turn Shrimpy here over to the zoo in exchange for a light sentence. Hey, this might all work out. <laughs> and look, Shrimpy, Odie got you a peanut. One without a dog catcher inside. Why, thank you, Odie. Haha, <laughs> figures. I always thought Odie was kind of a nut. Burgers out in the back, Liz. And Odie's playing with the squirrels again. <laughs> oh, and I brought my binoculars out so I could study any birds that. Hey, where'd my binoculars go? See if there's anything edible going on in the neighborhood. Doesn't look like Mr. Fusilli's having pizza delivered. Nope. Mrs. Krell isn't baking pies and putting them on her window ledge to cool and mysteriously disappear. Hmm. Uh-oh, those guys again. Al and Pete, the worst dog catchers in the business. Doing great, boss. Catching strays all over the place. All it took was promising us that big cash bonus for everyone we bring in. Good. Remember, though, my offer expires this afternoon. Bye. Whoa, I can't wait to collect that money. Hey, there's one. <sighs> hey, you guys. You couldn't catch a hot dog in a bun. Let's get him! Uh, technically we can't. He's not a stray. He's on his master's property. Oh, well. Plenty more dogs and cats out there to catch. Let's go! <laughs> Amazingly, they actually seem to have caught some. Arrivederci, guys! Uh, are they gone? Myron, why are you hiding? They're hunting down every stray dog and cat they can find. They're getting bonuses for every one of us they catch. That's awful. But don't worry, Myron. I'll do everything I can to protect you and all the strays. Garfield, lunch is ready. Lunch? <laughs> Just stay out of their way. Bye-bye. <laughs> Squirrels, Odie. That means more lunch for a certain orange cat. Mm -hmm. Squirrels, we have an emergency. Hurry, we need you down there. Huh? Bye. Garfield, how many burgers do you want? Well, how many you got? Huh? What? Must be my stomach. I haven't eaten since noon, and it's almost 12:45. <laughs> This is a disaster! 
monster! It sure is. I have six empty buns and nothing to put in them. I'm going to call the gardener, or a geologist, or someone! Whoever you call, see if he can stop on his way here and pick up some burgers. Uh-oh, I don't like this. Someone once said that cats always land on their feet. I'd like to have a word with that person. This is a tunnel. Who would dig a tunnel right under our house? Oh, oh my, oh my, this isn't good. I'm days behind schedule. Knock, knock. Anybody there? You there. I must ask you to leave. This is a construction site, and I must resume my digging. You're digging? What digging? I'm digging an underground expressway for my fellow moles. Huh? A network of them, actually. We have a hard time going from one place to another. The main reason being that we can't often see where we're going. See these lines? They represent tunnels that will allow moles to travel quickly and safely all over, I mean, under the city. And this is the tunnel I'm digging right now. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Not very. Your tunnel collapsed our entire backyard, and not only that, you ruined my lunch. Sorry, but there is a price we pay for progress. Back to work! Wait, we need to talk. Or not. Ooh. Mm. You know, John, doesn't make a bad hamburger. Mm -hmm. Those dog catchers have become cat catchers. <laughs> They're getting some big bonus for rounding up all us strays. You gotta hide me. I'm busy, Harry, but go hide behind the garage. What a pal. Whoa! <laughs> Got him! Oh, no! That big bonus is getting larger and larger. <laughs> Garfield, we need your help. Who doesn't? Someone's digging a tunnel that's destroying our tunnels, where we live. If he doesn't stop, we'll all have to move far away. <laughs> Don't worry, Odie. You won't lose your little squirrel friends. I've got an idea. I have to go drop some plans, and then I'm going to Hey, Digger, I hope you're happy. The squirrels are going to have to move away. Sorry, but one cannot stand in the way of progress. Before you destroy our home, we thought you'd enjoy a little farewell show. Just to show there's no hard feeling. Mm -hmm. eh, I have work to do, tunnels to dig. <laughs> All right, all right, but only a short show. Okay, guys, here we go! Bravo, bravo! Uh -huh. It was amazing, but now I have to get back to work. Hmm. Okay, guys, show's over. Our friend has a tunnel to dig. <laughs> Bye. 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 Happy digging. Okay, let's see which way I dig next. Oh dear, 
I've been digging the wrong way. How terrible. I dug east when I should have dug west. Oh, now I'm really going to be behind schedule. Where's the new tunnel going, Garfield? Why, uh, you'll see. Let's see. Now I go left. I don't remember the route going this way, but maps are never wrong. <laughs> we'll never get out of here. I thought Garfield would do something, but I guess he doesn't care about us. Oh dear, this can't be where I was supposed to dig. Oh, it's exactly where you're supposed to dig. <laughs> Come on! This one out has fleas. Where do you see how many dogs and cats we caught, boss? You're gonna have to pay us such a bonus. We'll see. We'll see. Uh. Yeah, right. Absolutely full. But, but, but it was full. It was. You two are the worst dog and cat catchers I've ever seen in my life. You're fired! Turn in your nets and get out! <laughs> Thanks, Garfield. We owe you one. We owe you a lot more than one. Always glad to help. And now I am hopelessly lost. Don't worry. Let me have that plan. I took the liberty of drying up a new map for you, and I, uh, <clears throat> I even got it approved by the Mole Planning Council. Ooh, I have a lot of digging to do, but I won't stop until it's done. Bye, all of you. Where is he digging, Garfield? Yeah, where, where does the new tunnel go? Well, let's put it this way. In about 18 months, we'll be able to go down this hole and bring back Chinese food. Authentic Chinese food. Talker had money, I'd thank you and tip you. <laughs> the joy of Beetle's lasagna, it always puts a smile on our faces. Beetle, yeah. yeah. what happened to you? We're getting to the bottom of this. Wait for me, guys! I'm sorry, Mr. Arbuckle. Sorry, kitty cat uh, and the puppy dog. I guess Vito has just not been himself lately. Not since she left me. She? Whew. Angelica, the most beautiful woman on the planet. This is the woman who ruined my dinner? She brought out the best in me. The passion I bring to my cooking. Here you are, la mia stella. Pasta alla vito, cooked with love. And also with the marinara sauce. Ah, Vito, your cooking is superb. We were so happy until he came into our lives. She met him somewhere and was taken. Brent Mogul. Brent Mogul, the real estate tycoon? The guy who builds all those buildings? 
He builds buildings, but he destroys your relationships. I will never forget what she said to me. You are very sweet, Vito. But Brent... Brent creates mighty buildings. He creates skyscrapers, and the towers, and the roads, and mini malls. All you create, Vito, is eggplant parmesan. <laughs> I go now to be with Brent. Farewell, Vito. Maybe Brent and I will order a pizza someday. After we are married. Nothing has been the same since that day. Not even my lasagna. We know. <laughs> Here, blow that nose of yours before you hurt someone with it. Here is the last lasagna I made before she broke my heart. I think you should have it, Grigato. You always loved it so. You'll get over her, Vito. Never! My heart it is a broken! And since I cook with my heart, my cooking, she's a broken too! <sighs> Poor Vito. Be careful with that, Garfield. That could be the last good Vito lasagna you'll ever have. <sighs> Maybe we should get an armored car to take it home. <sighs> Here you go. Enjoy it while you can. Farewell, lasagna, my faithful friend. No, I can't let this be the last Vito's lasagna. I have to find a way to get Vito and Angelica back together. Hmm. Yes! I know how to do it. Come on, Odie. <laughs> Mogul Real Estate Investments. I'm sorry, Mr. Mogul's in a meeting and can't be disturbed. I'll disturb him. Uh, I've almost acquired the land necessary for my next project. A city within a city. The city of the future. Ah, oh, Brent, you are amazing. I can't tell you how much I admire all the things you do. Go ahead, try. Hmm. <laughs> You're important. You're a man of the future. You're... Oh, Brent, do you smell lasagna? No. Why? Oh, I was just reminded of someone. Someone kind of sweet. Someone who liked to make me happy. But never mind him. He's in my past. Are those the plans for the new development? Yeah, looks like we wasted our time. How could she dump Vito for a guy who's just gonna tear down old buildings and put up new ones? Yes, but I'll do better than show you plans. I'll show you the area where we're starting demolition. <gasps> A personal tour for my wife-to-be. <laughs> hey, look, Odie. This is what he's gonna do downtown. That's West Central Street. So Vito should be right about... Oh, that's odd. Vito should be right there, but there's a tanning salon. He's gonna... He's gonna get rid of Vito's. Hey, you two shouldn't be in here. All these. I'm locking you two up and calling the pal. Let's not let him do that. Hey, you come back here. Notice how in chase huh? scenes, the guy chasing always yells, you come back here, even though no one ever does. <laughs> Hey, you come back here! You're right. He's gonna catch us unless I do something drastic. Farewell. 
I'm sacrificing you for a good cause. Mwah. I'll have to chill off the exits and... We're replacing that building with a store that sells cell phones. But you're opening two cell phone stores in the last block. Hey, <laughs> you can't have too many stores that sell cell phones. I'm thinking of opening cell phone stores inside other cell phone stores. Coming true. Oh, the kitty cat who was such a good customer of my old friend, Vito. Speaking of Vito's restaurant, take a look at this. <laughs> take down that corner building next. Sorry if they're a little damp, they've been in a dog's mouth. Brent, where's Vito's restaurant on these plans? That little Italian place? Oh, I'm tearing it down. I want this whole block cleared by nightfall! But that's his business, and he's alive! He's so proud of that restaurant! I'm putting a tanning salon there. Let's knock down that pizza place now! You can't do that! I can do whatever I want. I'm Brent Mogul. I'll even knock it down myself. Oh. <sighs> Charlie! Let me get behind the controls of the wrecking ball! Gourmand here, reporting live from outside Vito's Pizzeria, where real estate tycoon Brent Mogul is about to tear the place down. Personally. Yeah, Mr. Mogul, Eddie Gourmand here, you've seen me on TV. How can you knock this building down? You don't even own it. <laughs> ha, a minor technicality. I'll buy it tomorrow. I'm tearing it down today. You will not tear down this building, Brent Mogul. You destroyed one love of my life. You will not get the other. Get out of the way, fella. I'm Brent Mogul. I get what I want, and I want a tanning salon there. One little chef won't stop me. How about one chef and a cartoonist? Then a cat, then a puppy dog. And a nationally famous food critic with his own TV program! <laughs> Maybe we ought to sort of move. Nothing will stop him. I bet I know who can. Okay, okay. Maybe I can put my tanning salon somewhere else. Yeah! Oh boy! <laughs> now Angelica and Vito will get back together again. And his cooking will once again be inspired. Angelica! Oh. <laughs> I thought she was coming back to me. I thought so too, Vito. I'm sorry. I guess it was just not meant to be. <gasps> Vito's Pizzeria. Hello. Oh. Oh. This is Angelica. Would you please send over the best Italian food in the world? And the man who makes it. That smile. Huh? What does it mean? I think it means we're both getting back what we loved and lost. If you will excuse me, gentlemen, Vito feels inspired.
Usually I eat and sleep all day, but today I think I'll sleep and eat just for a change. <gasps> but what if it's Monday? Monday, the worst day of the week. Monday, the day horrible things happen. Monday. <laughs> you get the concept? I don't like Mondays. Please don't let it be Monday. Please don't let it be Monday. <gasps> not Monday. All right. <sighs> Life could not better be. I'm healthy. <laughs> The refrigerator's filled with all my favorite food. And best of all, it's not Monday. I hope it'll be not Monday all year. So, what shall I do to celebrate it not being Monday? Hmm, I think I'll make myself two small sandwiches. On this show, these are considered small sandwiches. <laughs> Mm. Yes, I am the luckiest cat in the world. <gasps> hey, laughing boy. What's with the long face? The sun is shining, the sandwiches are delicious, and best of all, it's not Monday. I have nothing to smile about. The world is rotten. Everything stinks. Huh? Hey, you have a nice day, too? Well, as I was saying, I am the luckiest cat in the world. <laughs> uh, the people who make rakes should recall them all to the factory. Those things are dangerous. <sighs> now to watch my favorite TV show, The Wrong and the Tasteless. The Wrong and the Tasteless will not be seen today, so we may bring you the nine-hour award-winning documentary, Your Friend, The Raisin. Uh, what? <laughs> you stupid television? I want to see my show. Put it on! Put it on! Hey, I never noticed this warning label before. Caution, do not pound on the TV or it may explode. Okay, so maybe it isn't the greatest day. Hi, Garfield. You don't look so happy. That might be because I'm not so happy, but I was. Things were so perfect. Hmm. You didn't by any chance see a black cat go by, did you? Yeah, a little while ago. Real sad guy looked kind of like this. Uh-huh. Jonah. Oh, Jonah? He's a jinx, that guy. Once he crosses your path, it's bad luck forever, and there's nothing you can do about it. In fact, I shouldn't even be around you. Hey, there's no such thing as jinxes and bad luck. Hey, look. I'm standing right here and nothing around. What could happen to me? I don't know, but something will. What? Do you think a meteor is just going to drop out of the sky on me? Whoa! It could have happened to anybody. Listen, Garfield, I think it'd be safer to be a little farther away from you. How far? Well, I hear Argentina's lovely this time of year. Help! Get me away from this guy! Somebody save me! I wish I could run away from me like that. Oh, I'm having a lot of bad luck. What I need is a good luck charm. I think there's one in the basement. John left some sort of good luck charm down here. Like a four-leaf clover or a rabbit's foot. Ah, here's one. His old horseshoe. <clears throat> to get the maximum luck from a lucky horseshoe, kiss it and throw it over your left shoulder. Hey, I don't believe in this stuff either, but it's worth a try. <clears throat> hey, what's that buzzing? 
It sounds like someone dislodged a nest of angry hornets. Hey, no wonder it sounds like someone dislodged a nest of angry hornets. I didn't mean it. Phew. Well, apart from the fact that it stinks in here, and safe. Actually, it doesn't smell that bad. It smells kind of like John's old meatloaf. Ah, this is John's old meatloaf. You know, with a little ketchup, this wouldn't be half bad. Hey, didn't you see the sign that says Occupy? <laughs> I am not having a good day. The noise, it stopped. We've stopped. At last, maybe I'll get out of here. Huh? Whoa! Ah! Oh. oh, I've got to find that black cat and get him to undo this bad luck curse. Oh. I am going to find him and nothing is going to stop me. That was a flower pot. That was a hammer. Oh. Oh. That was a recurring character. If I don't find Jonah Pronto, I'm toast. Problem is, with my bad luck, I'm never gonna find him. Unless... Huh? I'll bet Jonah crossed lots of people's paths. So all I have to do is follow the trail of bad luck. Yep, the jinx came this way. I'm getting closer and luckier. It's been a whole minute since I've had any bad luck. Maybe I'm no longer cursed. Boy, imagine how bad a day this would be if it was Monday. Hey, my God! Ah, it's no use. I'll never find him. I'll have bad luck the rest of my life, which at this rate won't be very long. But maybe not. Jonah, I found you at last. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Since I crossed your path, you've had nothing but bad luck. Bingo! Hey, lift the curse, please. I would if I could, but I can't. I've been this way, spreading bad luck since the day I got gloomy. That was the day she dumped me. Who dumped you? Mindy. She was my girlfriend. The only woman I ever loved. Well, maybe if we get the two of you back together, you'll cheer up and the curse will be lifted. You can take her some fruit. Forget it. She won't have me. She made that very clear. Well, maybe I can make her change her mind. Come on, let's go find her. <laughs> Petrona, would you mind helping me out? Usually, she comes out now for her evening stroll. Well, I sure hope so. Want a grapefruit? Is that her? Yes. <gasps> Isn't she beautiful? Jonah, what are you doing here? I said I never wanted to see you again. <clears throat> Can't you give a guy a chance? Uh, look at him. He's such a downer. He's always gloomy and he never smiles. I got the press beat around him. Now go away, both of you. Here, maybe a slice of grapefruit will cheer you up. Not true, Mindy. Jonah does smile. <laughs> Look at him. Wow. He looks so handsome with a smile on his face. Okay, now tell her you love her. I love her, Finley. 
I can't really have it. Oh, Jonah, I didn't understand a word. But I'm so pleased to see your beautiful smile. All is forgiven. Well done, Jonah. You did it. Whoops, you swallowed your smile. I should have known it wouldn't last. You can't help being gloomy, can you? Ah, he'll never change. And since he'll never change, my luck will never change. You think he's gloomy? You should see how I feel. <sighs> Goodbye. Oh my! It's the first time I've seen you laugh, Jonah! Well, I think it's the first time I have laughed. And you know what? <laughs> it feels good! Oh, Jonah! Maybe we could be together again. Wow! My luck is really changing! <sighs> I hope mine does. So this all happened last night? Yep, Jonah and Mindy got back together, and he got happy and he stopped being a jinx, and my bad luck went away. That's terrific, Garfield. Congrats! <laughs> Garfield, what happened? I thought the jinx of Jonah was lifted. It is, unfortunately. Now it's Monday. Oh, I hate Monday. Now, Garfield, I know you're not going to like this, but Liz insists you have to lose 10 pounds. So we're putting you on a diet of carrot sticks and lettuce. <clears throat> now, before you say anything or throw a fit because it isn't pasta, please understand, we're doing this for your own good. <laughs> you understand? You're not going to put up a fight or steal the refrigerator or anything? Oh. <laughs> this is great! Let me get you some low-calorie salad dressing. Perfect. He'll be here in nine seconds. <laughs> Garfield, I'm so impressed with how well you're taking this. I guess I owe you an apology. Keep eating like that, Garfield, and you'll lose that ten pounds in no time. Uh, you need a napkin? I'll go get one. Just in time. The Chinese restaurant will be delivering in 11 seconds. <laughs> no, he hasn't lost any weight since his last visit. In fact, he's gained three more pounds. Uh, that's not possible. I've had him on a strict diet. <laughs> John, for his own good, you have to stop him from eating so much. I can't watch him every minute. I have work to do. <laughs> well, I may have just the solution. <laughs> an inventor with an overweight pussycat invented this. He calls it the motorized meow monitor. Motorized meow monitor? Uh, how does it work? I'll show you. This collar locks on. I'll give you a key so you can remove it after Garfield has lost 10 pounds. It contains a tracking device. Wherever Garfield goes, the robot will follow, train its camera on him, and send a signal back to you. Ah! Oh, this is amazing, Liz. I can sit at my own computer at home and keep an eye on Garfield, no matter where he goes and what he eats. You can borrow it, and I'll give you an extra collar just in case. This is not fair. It's an invasion of privacy. It's, it's spying. Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. You have no right to... Huh? What's that you have in your hand there, Garfield? What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, wanna lick? <laughs> Going out, Garfield? Well, remember, you're still on that diet. You're not to eat anything. Not a crumb will cross these lips. Okay, so I'm lying. 
It's okay to lie if it's an emergency. And me not being able to eat between meals, if that's not an emergency, I don't know what is. <gasps> Vito savory pizza. I haven't tasted it for, oh, it must be a good six hours. But I will need a disguise. <laughs> I'll have the outfit back in five minutes or ten slices, whichever occurs first. Mamma mia! It is the Garfield Orange Alert! Everyone, go take the pizzas! <laughs> Garfield? Where is that handsome cat? Oh, where? <laughs> Oh, there he is. Garfield, if you don't want I should call John, you're gonna promise me that you won't swipe any pizzas. On my honor as the star of a popular cartoon show, I promise. Excellent. You pass the pirate pussycat. You I didn't say anything about lasagna. You mozzarella mooching a man is. He only got eight of them. Oh, uh, only eight? That's not so bad. Last week, he got 17 and... A gallon of spumoni. Ah, the perfect place to dine on nature's most perfect food. Ah. Garfield, I'm disappointed. <laughs> so am I. I could only get eight. You're supposed to stay on your diet. If you eat those lasagnas. All right, all right. I don't need to hear the cheap threat. I know it'll be cheap, and I know it's a threat. What are you doing? <laughs> My lasagna! <laughs> what is wrong with it? Suddenly Vito's lasagna, it is not good enough for you. <laughs> what are you doing? I am in such trouble. Hey, it's just one cat who won't eat it. But that cat, he's eat everything. If he won't eat it, nobody will eat it. I have to change the recipe. There are donuts in the world, and pulled pork sandwiches, and fried shrimp the size of whales. But if John sees me eating any of it, ah, I just have to make sure he doesn't see me eating. <laughs> That's my exercise for the year, and maybe next year, too. But it worked. I don't see that motorized meow monitor anywhere. Huh? One of everything. No, uh, make it two. Imagine John thinking a bucket of bolts could... <gasps> what? Uh, keep those on ice for me. Garfield! <laughs> I'll eat this in here, where he can't see me. Phew! Even if that robot followed me in here, he couldn't shoot video to send back to John. It's too dark! It's no use. I'll never escape that robot. Huh? Well, at least this came off. Without it on, the motorized meow monitor won't be able to track me. Hmm. Wait a minute. John got an extra one. If I throw this one away, he'll just put the other one on me. There's gotta be a way to get him to give this machine up. <gasps> and I think I know what it is. It's working out great, Liz. I can sit here at home, keep an eye on Garfield, and make sure he doesn't eat between meals. It's for his own good, but I'll bet he's not a happy cat. Not happy at all. It looks like he's wandered down to the waterfront. Oh, agony. Oh, despair. Oh, despair and agony. Oh, did I mention woe? Oh, despair, agony, and woe. Hours without lasagna. Days without pork chow mein and crispy noodles. How could John do this to me? <laughs> no. <laughs> he looks pretty upset that I'm denying him his favorite foods. You know, Garfield, that's just an act to get your sympathy. This doesn't look like an act. What's he doing now? 
He's... he's heading out onto the pier. There's an ocean liner there. A big one. Liz, it looks like he's taking a last look around. Like he's leaving. Don't fall for it, John. Liz, he's getting on the boat. Liz, he's on the ship. Garfield is leaving. He's going to some other country. I've got to stop him. John? John! Ooh, I better get off before she sails. <laughs> John should be here in about 15 minutes. 10 if he makes all the lights. <laughs> Gotta be in time. I've just gotta be. What do you mean it's already sailed? My cat's on board. Get it back. Sorry, that ship's on its way to Tokyo. T -t 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 Tokyo? Well, he always did like salmon teriyaki. <sighs> oh, he really did it, Liz. Garfield's gone to Tokyo. I'll probably never see him again. I can't tell you how much I'm going to miss him. Sure you can. Just try. John, I'm really sorry how all this worked out. If you'd like to cancel our dinner tonight... No, no, I need to get my mind off my little fat furry friend. You know, I'd give anything to see him again. I wouldn't make him diet. I'd get him whatever he wanted. How about donuts from Dave's drive through Donut Diner? You want donuts, Garfield? Sure. You know, Liz, if he'd just come back from Tokyo, I'd... <laughs> Garfield! You didn't go to Tokyo, scaring me like that. You know what I ought to do? I ought to... <sighs> get you those donuts. <laughs> and on the way home, we could stop at Vito's for pizza. And at Irv's Taco Emporium. Oh. You seem to have enough food to tide you over while I take Liz to dinner. I'll be back around 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you later. Uh... Hello, Pop. Hey, come on. We're gonna watch my favorite new show. I tried to get him to lose weight, Liz. Honest, I did. It's just that he's Garfield. I know. Could I have some more water, John? Sure. Let me pour it for you. I. Oops. Let me mop that up. Uh... Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, sorry again. Did you see where my pork chop went? <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, you got ketchup all over me. <laughs> oh, well, that's better than last time when I spilled the mustard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love watching John on a date. Where else are you going to find comedy like that? <sighs> hey, you hungry, Odie? Well then, you better go get some food. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>